Lean In founder Sheryl Sandberg told me that the new data from Lean In and McKinsey's six annual Women in the Workplace report shows the effects of coronavirus could in one year erase all the progress that women have made in the workforce in the past five years or more. Now, a quarter of the women surveyed say they're thinking about either downshifting their career or leaving the workforce entirely because of the impact of COVID-19. Now, this is just the first time in the six years since Lean In and McKinsey started the survey that more women say they're intending to leave their jobs than men. Now, the departure of senior level women in particular will slow down progress for all women because they're more likely than senior level men to advocate for gender and racial equality and mentor or sponsor women of color. And black women have been disproportionately impacted by by both COVID and racial violence this year, they're more likely than women overall to cite health and safety concerns as a reason they've considered downshifting their career or leaving the workforce during this pandemic. And they're more than twice as likely as women overall to say that the death of a loved one has been one of their biggest challenges during COVID. Now, there are a handful of bright spots in this survey. In the past six years, women's share of SVP roles has increased from 23% to 28%, and the share of C-suite roles grew from 17% to 21 percent. There's also potential in remote work to open opportunities for more diverse hiring and retention of employees who can't relocate or manage a long commute. Cheryl Sandberg telling me she hopes companies look beyond the quarter to the workforce that they're going to need and to take steps to address the concerns of women and people of color and really retain them. Carl? Uh, Julia? Yeah, I uh, jump. Yeah, I'll, I'll just ahead, follow John. up on that. We just had Brian Grazer and, and Ron Howard, but I'm thinking of James Cameron here in T2, No Fate But What We Make. This is not necessarily going to happen. It's just, it, it could happen unless there's some intervention. And I guess that's the point here. Exactly. Yeah, this is a warning sign. I mean, to have a quarter of women say they're thinking of either leaving entirely or taking a dramatic step back, that statistic can be a warning sign to companies to say, OK, people are working at home. They're dealing with their children studying at home. So to really encourage, co take this as, encourage companies to take this as a moment to figure out what they could do to retain women during this crucial time. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.